Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Max Bonnerchuk, and I'm currently a senior at Portland State University, about nine credits away from my um, Bachelor's of Science in Civil Engineering. And uh, today I just wanted to give you an overview about what is civil engineering. Now, I looked through YouTube and I found a lot of videos from older people telling you what's the good things about it, the bad things about it. But I'm here to tell you from a student's perspective what is civil engineering. Now, I'll start out with the basics. Um, I noticed that a lot of people have a wrong impression about what is civil engineering right off the bat. Because uh, when people think civil engineering, they say, oh, I'm going to be building bridges and skyscrapers and other structures. And that's not necessarily correct. And this is what I mean. Um, civil engineering actually has five five areas to it. It's not just one. It's There's five areas, which include uh, transportation engineering, structural engineering, bridges and buildings, uh, environmental, water resources engineering, and uh, geotechnical engineering, which has to do a lot with dirt and soils. And so when people talk about bridges and buildings, what they mean actually is structural engineering. But that's only one little subset of it. When you go to Portland State University or to any university for that matter, you actually get to learn all five of these. So it's not just, it used to be back in the day where it was structural engineering, but nowadays you are you have to absolutely learn all five of these in order to become an engineer. Now, if you want to later on in life, after you got your bachelor's degree, to pursue structural engineering, you're welcome to do that in master's, uh, when you go for your master's, so in graduate school. But in the meantime, civil, and, uh, civil engineering is going to be all five of these. So... Right now, uh, right here, I have a course outline, and I'll get back to it in another video. But uh, for now, I just wanted to talk to you about why I chose this field. And um, the reason why I chose this field is because, um, for me, I always like problem solving. So if you enjoyed your math classes, it, it doesn't mean necessarily that you have to be exceptionally good at math. It just means that you enjoy solving for that X finding that x in algebra 1 and algebra 2 and geometry you know finding the length of sides or the angles it's just problem solving do you enjoy you know sitting there for an hour or so and just solving out the problem and finding the solution and so i always enjoyed that in my lifetime i love getting to that solution and you know underlining or highlighting or boxing my answer or whatever um so I enjoyed solving problems, and that's why I chose this field. And I did also have sort of a wrong impression that, you know, civil means just structural. And uh, over time, I found that, you know, all these other areas are actually pretty enjoyable, too. So I'm still thinking of pursuing structural, but um, if you, you know, if you go for civil, they really the classes that you take really introduce you to all these other areas and a lot of my colleagues in college decided to branch off into transportation geotechnical environmental and water so you're all kind of there together but you're not because um, you end up splitting off into different areas which i'm going to be splitting off into structural uh, so who is this field good for uh, so like I mentioned previously, if you like to solve problems, if you watch Sherlock Holmes and you enjoy it, uh, yeah, this field is good for you. <laughs> Not necessarily, there won't be any physical activity that much, I guess you don't, you get to sit a lot and you get to do your homework a lot and you get to read a lot. Uh, so not much action on that side, but there there are areas of civil engineering where you do field work, which means surveying, you go out and you measure elevations and um, yeah, you get outside. It's all about, it's all about what you choose. Uh, but in the meantime, for four years, you're going to be sitting a lot. Well, I'll tell you that. Uh, who is this field? Maybe I should add, who is this field not good for? Uh, well, if you're really struggling with math, I would say probably don't go for it. Uh, you will you will face some intense uh, math classes, especially calculus four. Now, personally, I passed calculus four from the first try, but I was in there with uh, you know a couple of people in their thirties and their forties who were attempting it for their second and third try, and uh, yeah, it's it didn't look bright for them because the math classes do get intense. But don't be spooked. Don't be spooked. I mean, math is just sit, read it, study it, do the homework, and you pass. So 
it is challenging but uh, definitely definitely check your math see see if you're willing to sit down and study those math classes and uh you know i brushed up a little bit about it but how hard is it i would say uh if you're passionate about anything that you do you will become good at it so if you're willing to study hard it won't be that difficult uh, it'll be easier for people who uh, are pretty good with math it'll be easier for them but i might even say that if you're more passionate about civil engineering than those than the math major you will be better and uh, and th this is this is what i mean in a sense this is how i can prove it civil engineering is actually aimed towards more extroverted people and what i mean by that is since you're constantly dealing with clients and other people it won't be the math major who excels in this field it'll be a person who's more social uh, because because this field is more surrounded about who, what is your name and who you are and what is your personality because if people enjoy working with you they will enjoy having you as their client and uh, or delegating jobs to you so uh, for people who are more really into math they'll be good at this field but the problem is once they get out into the real world they'll be more shy they'll be more quiet and that's not that's not necessarily what this field requires this field requires both it requires math knowledge and problem solving skills and it requires you to be social so it requires you to go out of your comfort zone and talk to some people ask them uh you know what jobs are available and so and that constant positive communication amongst people. Uh, I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna move on to the next video where I'm gonna talk about the courses that you'll take. So this is a four year plan that's a blue sheet and I'm gonna talk about just what, what you will take and how, you know, what are the struggling points, what are the highlights. So yeah, please watch the next video as well.